What is going on everybody and welcome on into another video where today we are going to be going on around the Rancho del Arroyo um, Reserve and we are going to be trying out this brand new flush mechanic that comes with this map for the pheasants So what I'll be doing today is I'll be showing you guys how to utilize it where to utilize it and when to utilize it But we will also be going through and showcasing the um, the Kuso model shotgun the 1897 16 gauge shotgun that we have now So we'll be going ahead showing that off and hopefully getting ourselves maybe a diamond i don't know but let's go ahead and find out Alrighty, and then here off in the distance we have just heard what i believe is a warning call from the beautiful ringneck pheasant so we are going to make our way in we'll get our zeroing up i'll show you guys how to flush them and uh, the wind direction is not necessarily the the most favorable for us right now however i do think it will help us in the long run for spooking these animals off and getting them up in the air which as you guys know is the brand new requirement with these animals. They must be in the air when you shoot them. Otherwise, the integrity of the kill will be null and void. So, let's go ahead and see here. Now, the one thing that I noticed about this map, the animals will make the call. You'll move on in, but you will not find them. They will somehow, between making the call and you getting over there, they will completely disappear. So, what you've got to do is you've really got to keep your keen eye out and about trying to spot where they actually are. We've also got a white tail deer up here, so that's one of the things that I really do like about this map. There seems to be a good combination of animals no matter where you are. For example, on the left hand side here, which we've been exploring recently, there always seems to be a good mix of white tails, of bobcat, of the um, antelope jackrabbit. They all seem to sort of head over to those left hand areas. In the middle here, you've got the uh, you've got the pheasants, you've got the turkeys, and you've also got the white tails. But also, I've noticed bobcats over here as well. So it does really seem to be that they've got a good mix of the animal species, no matter where you are on the map, which I think is something that is really nice to see. It's not just there's one animal up here, one animal down there, another one up there. They all sort of mix around, which I think makes a more realistic environment, and I really like that. Alrighty, finally we managed to find ourselves some pheasants. They are just over here. And they are they're very aware that I'm over here. So they are gonna run away, but that shouldn't be too much of an issue. Because basically the idea is that you, you you find the the group of them on the ground or whatever it may be. We'll, we'll just use this one that seems to have stayed as an example. You come running up behind them. They'll they'll run a lot. They'll run away from you along the ground, and then when you get close enough, so within 20, 10, 50 meters, something like that, just close enough that you could almost reach out and touch them. You go ahead and you use your X key on the on the PC version. I'm not too sure what the console version would be, but you come up to them. You whistle, they'll sort of do a little bit of a, a run around a little bit. You'll get your gun out in that time, and then they will take off. And that is called flushing them. And then you can go ahead, get your brand new Kuso Model 86 here. And they should, in theory, drop down just like that. So <laughs> that is the way that you do it. So you find them, you run up to them. They will run along the ground. You whistle at them. They take off. In the meantime, you grab your gun out and then you take the shots. Now, as you can see right here, 15 hits with this beautiful shotgun. And just look at how incredible the design work is on this. You know, from the intricate details of the uh, of the white in with the orange on the uh, on the feathers, the, the blue neck, the red face, and then the underbelly as well, which has this beautiful, almost pearlescent color to them. I think that we can hear more pheasants around here as well. So we might be able to go ahead and give you guys a... Oh, there we go. There's one. All right. We're going to try a little bit further away. Doesn't seem to have taken off. So we're getting a little bit closer. We'll do it again. Yo, really? Come on, man. Hey, you're meant to fly off. Go on. Do it. Do the thing. That's it. Uh <laughs> And then down it goes. So that's how this one works. And uh, I have no doubt that you guys out there will definitely be having fun using this. It's, uh, it's a really awesome mechanic. And I'm glad to see that it's finally implemented into Call of the Wild. All right. I've got to do it. Just, just to try it out. I know, that I, I know that I probably shouldn't. But I, come on. How can you blame me for that? I mean, will it go down? We've got some more pheasants over onto the left. We'll make our way over to those in just a minute. But... Are you going to go down? No? All right. <laughs> it was worth a shot just to see if anything would actually happen. Hold on. Oh, Jesus. Oh, my God. Right. Oh, my God. There we go. Whew. Bloody hell. That scared the crap out of me. 
<laughs> so they, <laughs> that's one of the things with this thick forest area right here. If there's an animal running towards you, you only see it the last second, and God Almighty will it give you some jump scares. So one thing that I have noticed, and one thing I'm sure you guys will notice as well, is that sometimes with these pheasants here, we'll have to chase this one down, because uh, he's doing his typical pheasant run. Uh, trying to get away from us. But one thing that I have noticed is that they sort of run for a little while, then they'll stop, and then if you try to spook them, or if you try to flush them, so to speak, they will, they'll will they take a little bit of time to do it. So let's have a look here. There's, there's a couple here. So if we flush, you see there's a, there's a big delay between you initiating the flush and them actually taking off. And that's one of the things where I'm sort of not too sure how I feel about that. Like here, for example. I wish that they would just take off so you can take them out. But um, it's one of those things where I'm not sure if that's by design or if it happens to be something to do with the timings on them. But right now, it does sort of seem to be like they take a little bit more time than they probably should to actually take off. And there you go. You can see that we've got two decent shots into that pheasant right there. It should go down. And there it is. Let's go ahead and grab these ones here. And uh, see what we're getting here. This one looks like quite a fatty, but it's only a silver, so fair enough. I can't wait to get myself one of the diamond variants of this, because they are going to be absolutely beautiful to get up in the lodge. Maybe down the road as well, we'll get a brand new Mexican-style lodge as well. But uh, we'll have to see what comes out with that. But ladies and gentlemen, that is going to be it for me today. Just a quick one to show you how the flush effect works, and also to highlight this beautiful Kuso 1897 shotgun 16 gauge. And uh, I do hope that you have enjoyed. If you've stuck around for this long, please do consider smashing that like button and subscribing if you haven't already. And I will catch you guys in the next one. So until then, enjoy the hunting. Peace.